The Fordham Rams men's basketball team is rolling, and the Rose Hill gym has suddenly become a home of consistent winning basketball. Last Sunday's victory over Central Connecticut State extended their winning streak to 10 games and put the team at 11-1, the best start for the team since 1971. Fordham has been defending their home as they haven't surrendered a game out of the 10 they've played there thus far. We took to asking those involved around the university and even with the program to find out if things are really different this year for these Rams. Rams starting guard Antrell Charlton gave us a glimpse at what it's been like being a member of the dominant roster. I don't know about everybody on the outside, but we always felt like this is how we should have been playing. Like This is what we expected to do this season. So in the locker room, it's not really extra pressure, but the more games we win, actually, to me, like I, I feel like the hunger we've been getting, like the younger guys, are, they want to even play even harder, even want to get even better. Like The older guys, we feel kind of pressure because we know the younger guys look up to us and they follow our lead, so we know we got to set an example. So if we know if we start slacking or kind of like looking like we're uh, getting comfortable or anything like that, like Coach been on us bad about that, like just not getting comfortable, like because just keep working because now, like instead of us being the underdog in games, like people are coming in here trying to win, like trying to beat us on our home court, wanting to be the first team. With Fordham's football team going 9-2 and two and earning a bid to the NCAA FCS championships, there seems to be a renewed culture of successful sports teams right here in the Bronx. We talked to Samantha Bohr, student and sideline reporter for WFUV Sports, to find out if there really is a winning feeling in the air. Yeah, I mean, this year more people are coming out, which more people need to come out, so people need to keep supporting Fordham basketball. But, I mean, being there and hearing the student section go wild, hearing the parents get into it, all of that is just so much fun because you can tell that this student body is now backing this team in a way that they haven't before necessarily and that they want to see them win just as bad as the players obviously want to see each other win. And so it's so much fun to be there and to be around that environment and to be reporting from that environment and to be able to, you know, talk about what's happening on the sidelines or what's happening on the court while people are going crazy in the stands behind it. So it's just so much fun. One thing's for certain, Keith Ergo's making a great first impression in his first season as head coach of the team. He made a direct call to action at his most recent press conference. We need more. A little bit to be real, we need more. You know, this, these guys are working as hard as anybody in the country right now. We need the students to come out and support us. It's, it's incredible energy. These guys deserve it with the energy and the hard work. They're representing that name on the front with such great pride. We need the support. It generates so much energy and enthusiasm. This building is a luxury to have when it's filled. We need the student body to come, come out in droves and, and, and understand how much of a difference they make. He won't say it because he's fantastic, but I will. It makes a major difference and we need it to continue to grow because it really is a home court advantage. It is. It is a tremendous place when it's packed, it's loud, People don't want to come here and play. There are lots of games left in the season, and the Rams certainly still have a lot left to prove. It's clear that they think more support from their fans could help them on their way there. At the rate things are going now, it seems like they're poised to continue making history.